everybody's favorite day of the week. It's a day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And you guys, for the first time in years, uh, years, we have an actual as seen on TV product. I feel like over the years, like I've kind of seen these things like dwindle. It's just been like pots, pans, and pillows now for like six years. But there I was watching the Twilight Zone marathon over the 4th of July weekend when I was bombarded with as seen on TV commercials, the Arctic Air Max Pure Chill being one of them. So I'm sure you guys have seen commercials for this because honestly I posted about this on my Snapchat the other day and I got so many comments from you guys asking does it work? How good is it? And that a lot of y'all were thinking about buying it for yourselves. So that's what we're gonna find out today. I am quite skeptical. Now I did just rewatch the infomercial because here's my thing, right? How can this be anything other than a fan? How could it possibly replace your air conditioner or be as good as an air conditioner and that's why I wanted to like refresh my memory with the commercial because I'm like certainly they are not saying like get this instead of an air conditioner but lo and behold uh they do flash up a giant photo of an air conditioner and say well I pay $800 when you can pay like $30 for a teeny tiny little fan. Now I will tell you guys there was some preparatory work involved in filming filming this video because I thought I also remembered something about them saying like there was a filter that if you soaked the filter in water and then froze it that it would make the cooling effect like even more I don't know why the only word coming into my head is vibrant we're gonna have more vibrant cooling so yeah I'm about to run down pull the frozen filter out of the freezer I honestly started this process like like three days ago so it should be just about as cold and frozen as it could possibly be and oh my god you guys are we not having like the hottest summer literally ever I mean I am in Texas and we always have super spicy summers at least in the part of Texas that I live in I don't know if we've ever before had a week of solid like 100 degree days or hotter every single day it's like 100 and it feels like 105 or something and I'm like oh my god this is wild so I did buy this on Amazon they say it's a personal space cooler adjustable three speeds quiet operation lightweight and portable it's supposed to clean although there is a asterisk by the word clean so it hypothetically cleans they say you can use it inside and outside and it also has a built-in LED nightlight so I think that this was $39.99 now <laughs> I will say and I think we've had this experience before with other as seen on TV products it does make me a little bit nervous when you unbox the box and this was literally the very first thing on the top of the box where it's like stop don't return this item to the store which I'm like that just doesn't like just fill you with confidence confidence that the item that you bought is gonna actually work when the very first thing is like don't return it so yeah we have a 20% off coupon of our next arctic air uh so we have an ac power adapter now they do say you can take this outside but like literally what could it possibly do i mean you could take a fan outside also but like i mean i guess that's what's supposed to be different between this product and a fan is this is supposed to generate uh cold air from within i'm gonna say it's very very lightweight that's it we just have the frightening silica gel packet oh this is the quick start guide okay so we fill to this line can you guys see the line step one plug it in step two fill tank with water using a pitcher point vents towards you turn on unit and enjoy so this is actually where i saw the instructions to pre-soak and freeze the filter that we have done so I thought it would be fun to use one of those like temperature gauge things uh to see how hot this room is and honestly this room is probably one of the hottest rooms in the house 
shrimply because I normally am in here like when I'm filming, obviously. Uh, so we have one, two, three lamps, plus a camera and a giant window in here that you guys cannot perceive right now. So let me just get a reading and see what it says. Oh, am I supposed to hold it down? Cause is it really 76 in here? You guys, we are like warm. We are warm people anyway. I sit in front of a hairdryer. <laughs> a lot. I like to be warm. I usually don't like complain about the heat, but oh look, it's back there. Okay, 75.9. Look, what is my temperature? Is this safe to be doing? It's not beeping. 89.4. That sounds kind of disturbing. Hello, Kermit. Trying to not look at the infrared light. Ugh. Do you guys remember that? The laser pointer fear of the 90s? 81.3. Uh, so just, you know, baby shelf 76.5. Let's point it directly at the light there. 85.6. How about you? 82.0. That's shocking. Maybe it's because I'm normally in here like jumping around and um, changing clothes 500 times that I'm like, this room is an inferno, but quite apparently it's just like 70. Okay, so I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna fill her up and I'm gonna go get the filter and I'll be right back. Are you guys excited to see if we're gonna chill out? Should have taken you guys downstairs to retrieve the filter with me because right when I took it out of the freezer, it was making cool ice crackling sounds. So I did film a clip right when I ran upstairs with the filter and there are ice crystals hanging off of the filter. So this little drawer opens up right here. Ooh la la. Uh, so this is obviously like where the vent is, where the air shall be blowing on us. So you open this up like like a little tray and you slide in the filter like so. Ta-da. Um, Ta-da. I just had it in there a little bit better than this. Hello. Ta-da. Yes. Okay. Ta-da. And you shut it up in there like so. And it's already a little bit cooler already because it's a piece of plastic with ice inside. Let me actually lower the camera a little bit lower so y'all can see me pouring the water into the, or maybe I can just lift it like this. <laughs> Don't you guys like love the trend of like all these products that mix electricity with water? I just got a hair curling apparatus the other day. It's actually vintage, I think from the seventies, but you literally just plug it in and pour water into a little curling barrel and then it, and it, it, it's plugged in already. It's kind of scary. Okay, so I am using distilled water like I normally use for my facial steamer and stuff. So you just pour in the water. There's just a little basin here and that's it, you guys. Now we put the lid on the lid and we go like that. And now I'm very carefully gonna plug it in and then, okay, I am gonna lower the camera. Give me a second. Okay, um, let's turn it. That is turbo speed. <gasps> Ooh. You guys, this feels very cool. Have I just literally been clowning on Arctic air for no reason? Honestly, it was also a little bit loudish, I thought at first, but not really. Like, I feel like I'm just screaming at you guys for no reason. So that's speed three. That's speed two. Ew. Even quieter. How about speed one? That's like really quiet. I mean, it's more quiet than a hairdryer. Um, so I think I read somewhere on the box where they said that it will run for 10 hours. Yeah, runs up to 10 hours per fill. Now, my question is how cool does it feel once the ice has kind of melted? And I guess there's like a basin or something that must be down here because like, you know, I mean, obviously the ice isn't going to stay frozen. So like, where does that water drip down to? Right. Also, I'm sure that like speed counts for how long 
it will run with this amount of water in it. Like, can you get 10 hours if you leave it on speed three? I mean, it's definitely so far a very nice, like, fan, but I just don't know if this could possibly replace, like, an air conditioner. However, I know lots of places, like in Texas, like, everybody has air conditioning. I think some places in Texas, people don't really have heaters, but they do have air conditioning. But I know in some other states, like I think in California, a lot of homes actually don't have air conditioning, but I don't know. That may just be, <laughs> that may not be like such of a true thing anymore. Or I don't know, maybe like New York. Do you guys have air conditioning? Is this stupid? I mean, I obviously know some people have air conditioning, but I'm just saying like, I don't know if it's as much of a normal thing or at least several years ago when I was like still traveling th there were some places that we went into or I had some friends living in different areas and they would say like my home my apartment whatever doesn't have air conditioning so for that reason I would say I think that this would be a really comforting thing for instance like if you were just sitting inside and you just like kind of had this in your general area i feel like it would be better than obviously no air conditioning but i do just kind of always feel like it's a bunch of malarkey when uh they say like oh just buy a 30 dollars fan versus having like central heating and air conditioning so what i'm gonna do now is actually cut all the lights and we'll cycle through the nightlight mode. I do like speed three though. Ooh, that's like, that's actually very cooling. <gasps> okay, let's cycle through the nightlight settings. Okay. You guys, I like the ambiance. So, there is still like some natural light coming through because it's not like completely sunset yet. So this is the first color, blue. This is like purple, I guess. It looks kind of red, but I swear on the camera, it's still like reading blue, right? Okay, that's definitely also blue, but I think it's supposed to be white. That also looks blue. That's purple, but it still looks blue, <laughs> green. I don't think it's like showing up different on that camera for you guys. Let me try and film a clip on the iPhone. <gasps> Ooh, you guys, this must be like ultra mode. I feel like you guys cannot see it, but it's like changing colors. It's like cycling through, like that we're at an air conditioned rave right now. Ugh. As I was just filming that clip, I began to notice some things. Let me first of all turn this down because that's kind of one of the things that I noticed. At first I was thinking like, oh, I can totally see where we would just like have this running in the bedroom at night, like when we're sleeping, because like we, we, Dogman and I, we are white noise loving people. I think now maybe like this and hair dryers are considered like brown noise. I feel like that has been like a huge trend lately where everybody's talking about like pink noise, brown noise. And like, I never knew that there was anything other than like white noise. Yeah, I mean, sometimes we just like turn a fan on in the room when we don't even like feel like we need a fan just because we like the sound effects. So yeah, especially when I had it on high, I was like, oh wow, like this combined with the color changing thing looks very soothing and very calming. But then I was just kind of like thinking about how, like for me personally, I wouldn't say that it's like whisper quiet enough where I could have this like going for instance in this filming room while I'm filming if I wasn't doing a review for this item, you know, cause it's like, it's, it's, it, I, I feel like I'm shouting right now. Uh, although I'm always shouting, but you know what I mean? Like, I feel like this noise would like maybe be like annoying. Also, I did notice cause like I had like the fan kind of pointed like not directly on me when I was just filming the clips of the lights changing. And that is one thing that I noticed right away is like this in the truest sense of a fan, like it feels great when I'm right here, right in front of it. But like literally if I go like this and like the wind is not blowing on me exactly, like, the room does not feel like, oh, well, 
way cooler, you know, like it's basically like you either have a fan pointing directly on you and you feel cooler or the fan is not pointed on you. And it, and it like, that's what I'm trying to say where to me, it doesn't necessarily replace an air conditioner maybe. That was the other thing that I forgot exactly how many seconds they said it was supposed to cool the whole room off. Like they do act like, oh wow, well, plug it in and instantly like your area is air conditioned. And I, I mean, I feel like honestly, it's better than nothing, right? It is like a fan. I don't know what evaporative air cooler is. That's literally like what is in fine print here. So they do say it's supposed to draw in the hot air and then like through water and ice, cool the air and like push out the, the cool air. So yeah, let's do the thermometer thing and I'll be able to like see when I'm editing like what it was. 89, eight. I feel like I was like 81 before, right? Oh my God. It's like shooting lasers everywhere. 86.4. I don't think I'm necessarily supposed to be like shining that on myself. Okay, back there. 77. The lamps. 81. That one is 85.6. How about like, I guess the chair, it's kind of been blowing the air here. 77.7. So once again, I don't remember like exactly where I was like pointing everything around at the beginning of the video to see if it's like reading out any differences like that. Oh, I know what I was going to show you guys because I was just like re looking at the box because I was trying to see if they said the same thing on the box that they do in the commercial, which is like cools your whole house in 30 seconds. But like, look at this picture. Okay, they're showing you all the places you can use it, including the kitchen, just blowing cold air on this fish here. Which first of all, can you imagine you're just gonna put a fan directly on a fish and just blow fishy scented air all throughout your house? So yeah, there are some things that I like about this fan and some things that I think of course are just a little bit gimmicky in my humble opinion, as are like a lot of as seen on TV items. I feel like that's kind of the thing in my opinion, with a lot of as seen on TV items is it's like they do work, but just maybe not like 100% as amazingly as they show in the commercials. Like I do not think that this would do you probably very much good outside. <laughs> like I thought about honestly doing the test like in the car without like turning the car on without like any air conditioner or anything. And should I still do that? I don't know. I thought about doing that and then I thought, mm, that's like maybe like not a good idea because it is literally, it has literally been like over 100 degrees every single day. And also, I don't know if we have anything where I could like run a wall outlet in a car. Maybe I'll still try that experiment if we do. I don't know if we do or not. Cause I'm like, well, that's like a really tiny enclosed space where you could like see. But like, you know, that's the other thing I started to think about is like, are you ever gonna go just sit in your car with this tiny little fan? <laughs> like you probably shouldn't, you know? But I just don't know if you would really feel that much of a difference if you're sitting outside in a hundred degree day, just sitting in front of this little fan. But I feel like if you wanted to like sit this on your nightstand and you're like sitting down on the computer, you're reading a book or whatever, or if you wanna use it for like a calming fan at night with the cool light effects, then I feel like it's not that bad of a product. Now, $40 is a little bit steep, I think, cause I'm pretty sure you can get those like mega fans if you really want something that cools something, probably for a lot cheaper than like $40. Here you're kind of paying for like the as seen on TV, Arctic Air, you know? So I think you're paying a little bit more. The fan is like not that big. Like it's probably like six inches maybe. Is that six inches? I don't know. So yeah, that is it. That is my two cents is I think that it works, but like, you know what I mean? All, all the other points that I just said. Anyway, that's my thought. I still kind of feel it's a level one. Yeah, I'm this far away from it. You just kind of have to be in its direct path is all I'll say because it feels much warmer over here than it does over here. Those are pretty much all of my thoughts and feelings. Wait, let's see what, oh, that's off. 
See now if I'm like, it, I notice it being off, is it making a difference? You guys, level three. I bet I can be way back here with a level three. Ugh. I mean, anyway, it's a fan. It's roughly a fan, a fancy $40 fan. Those are all of my thoughts and opinions. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. I would love to know, as usual, all you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Did you buy this? Do you want to buy this? And if you did buy it, what do you think? Do you do you think the same things that I think? That is it for today. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swan family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye! I feel like I'm, like, having to crouch down here. I kind of want to know if it's, like, still frozen in there. It has to be, right? It's only been on for, like, 30 minutes. <gasps> it's not frozen. It's just slightly damp now that is interesting and there's only a couple of drops down in here i mean i guess the filter is like a felty material see that also kind of makes me wonder like how likely is that to kind of like mold you know i don't know just like consistently wet and frozen felt i don't know i would love to know what you think anyway uh i love you guys <laughs>